Hi, here's more in our series about safety seeking instincts, why fight or flight is bullshit and what to say instead. You have a whole safety seeking system in your body and we are wired to do basically um, one of six things, fight, flight, freeze, fool, that's more like, you know, that's more like, hmm, like stealing and concealing, feed and fuck. Fight, flight, freeze, full feed, and fuck. I'll just say it one more time. Fight, flight, freeze, full feed, and fuck. So let's look at how this works in everyday life. I'm going to tell you the story of a young couple named Jules and James, okay? They're in their 20s. You know, their biological clock is like ticking, ticking, ticking. And they are like, they're like kind of ready to either find their life partner and start to form a family or, you know, they kind of got to shit or get off the pot, right? So what do they do? Well, they're shackled there in this relationship. On the one hand, they have all these fears of abandonment that keep them there. On the other hand, they know it's a less than perfect relationship. So they both have sort of one foot in, one foot out, which is a terrible place to be, right? You're just in this kind of limbo. Um, so here's what, you know, a kind of window into their relationship looks like. They are hungry and tired after work one day, okay? So they're in the kitchen and they're bumping into each other and they start to get cranky. All right, and things start to escalate and their voices rise, that's fight. James says something that pisses Jules off and she says, fuck you, James, and she runs out the door, she slams the door and she jumps into her car and she goes, that's flight. And she's driving around like a crazy woman and you know, she's blowing through red lights and rolling stops and 15 miles over the speed limit, you know, and then she turns on her music, you know, Alanis Morissette, you know, you, you, you ought to know. So she's like kind of like in this crazy mental state. James is also in kind of an um, in this mental state that's that's pretty um, not great, but he handles it differently. So what does he do? Well, the first thing he does is he gets stoned. Jules hates it when he gets stoned, by the way, because he just like leaves debris everywhere and he doesn't clean up after himself. And they're always that's one of their petty arguments, right? But he finds that one hitter, and you know he's you know or he's joined or whatever, and he gets high. Okay, there's one tip off. That's also flight. High is the tip off. We have all kinds of tip offs in our language, but yeah, he gets high. And then he goes, he plops down on the futon, right? And he pulls up the Afghan that his mom made him when he was six, and he grabs the remote and he, he Netflix and chills. That is another tip off. Netflix and chill. The chill is a kind of a, a, a tip off of that there's a freeze response going on there. And he doesn't move until Jules gets home. So he just kind of lays there. That is very much what a lot of emotional responses look like in humans. Meanwhile, Jules is running around. She's driving. She drives back past her ex's house. She thinks about it for a second. And then she sees, she sees the supermarket. She sees Kroger. What kicks in? Fight, flight, freeze, fool, feed. Feed kicks in. That's right. And we all know where she goes. She goes straight to the ice cream aisle and she gets herself a little Ben and Jerry's Chunky Monkey. That is her favorite ice cream, but let's look at the ingredients. Um, ice cream with fudge chunks and walnuts. Guess who is lactose intolerant and mildly allergic to nuts? Yes, that's Jules. So eating this is basically an act of warfare against her own intestinal tract, okay, so that's fight, and also against James because she gets gassy for like three days and he can't even sleep in the same room with her. He has to go sleep on the futon and he hates that. Okay, so this is where they're at. So Jules like takes it and she's like, nom, 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 nom. she eats all, like 15 minutes, this whole pint, this is um, three servings per 1,200 calories in 15 minutes. That is a feed response, okay? And, and, and then she's a little bit, I don't want to say that she's back in her right mind, but she's like kind of calmer. And so she makes her way back to the house and she comes in and James, his spidey sense immediately goes off. And he says, Jules, did you have a chunky monkey? And of course, Jules goes, no, I didn't have any chunky monkey. <laughs> okay. She instantly lies, right? That's fool. That's some foolishness. All right, but her spidey sense is going off too. She knows James, and remember she hates it when he gets done, and so she says, James, did you get high? And he goes, no, like he's stuck in the one hitter deeper into the futon. No, I didn't get stoned. You know, you can smell it in the house. All right, and so what's left? They've just lied to each other, just too full in love, right? 
We got fight, flight, freeze, full feed. So what do they do next? They fuck, you know? But this isn't like really loving, playful, artful, sex, purposeful, where the whole goal is to connect. No, they just are just needy and just wanting, wanting to feel better. They're using each other's body to, to soothe themselves. They're conquering each other to make themselves feel more powerful, to feel better, okay? This is not like really smart behavior because of course, do you think that they use protection? No, they are not thinking. So, you know, this is how our like, you know, our dysfunction spreads to the next generation, right? This is how we end up with a little J name baby that we never planned on. But this is what actual like human, you know, stress and threat responses look like in just everyday life. That's what fight, flight, freeze, full feed and fuck look like. It's like the Jules and James story. Now there's good news because fight, flight, freeze, full feed and fuck are not the only options. There's another overriding option that is as deeply wired into us as those six. And that's love. Our core need, you know, the, this deep part of our brain needs to needs um, safety. Our core central need is for connection. All right. And so, you know, the way out of this is love. And they do love each other. Like they do want this to work. But love is an art form. Love is an art. And it does require skills. Okay. Fight, flight, freeze, will feed and fuck don't require any skills. But love, it does. You know, we got to... Have a fair amount of emotion control and we have to have a fair amount of um you know compassion for other people and empathy and a lot of those things go when we're in really like on high alert and our states of emotional upset so let's just hope you know that these two work it out because you know lots of broken hearts have happened just because people have don't have like the world's best skills i mean there's just been a lot of pain so let's hope for jules and james by the way, if you're wondering, James's favorite ice cream flavor, half baked. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Leave any comments below, any questions, um, any great movie scenes that you can think of that exemplify fight, flight, freeze, full feed, and fuck. Look forward to hearing about it.